Oh my gosh, it's a sailfish! I literally almost forgot the camera. Jeez. What is up, Sizzlers? We're in the car, and today is actually the afternoon already, but it is super hot today. Today we are going fishing. We're going fishing with somebody we've never fished with before, and his name is Craig, right? Craig Stevens, fishing Craig with subs, Stevens. fishing with subs. Yeah, fishing with fans, subs, whatever you want to call them, but he invited us fishing out of Hillsboro, which is about 30 minutes south of where we fish out of with our boat, so we're excited. We've just met up with Craig. Say hello. Hi, everybody. <laughs> What's going on? He's an awesome fan. And um, so today, we just got, got off the ramp over here. We are headed to the Hillsboro Inlet right now. But it's a beautiful day out. There's actually a lot of boat traffic for the middle of the week. But I guess that's South Florida. It's always busy down here. But I also wanted to mention, too, I have my ACR PLB, which is my personal locator beacon. And I always bring this on other people's boats. But Craig also has one of his own which is very important for any boat owner. I highly recommend all of you to have your own PLB. So that's awesome he has it, but you never know Safety going on anybody's first. boat. Safety first, exactly like you said. You don't know what they're gonna have, so bring your own safety equipment with you. But we're about to go out the inlet, let's go. We just arrived to a spot that's known as the Stinkhole, which I never really knew about, honestly, living here in South Florida. But what is it, Greg? It's it's a treated sewage that comes out from the mainland on a big pipe. It's a five-foot round pipe, and it pumps out treated sewage. Not untreated, but treated. And there's a lot of nutrients coming out, and all the little bait fish and stuff want to attack it. And here we are. We're right on top of it now. We're going to troll through it first to try and catch a bonita or some bait, and then we're going to come back and let Darcy jig on it. I just saw, there's a ton of fish here. They're like all over the surface. It's insane. I see flashes of fish everywhere. And like, there's a big boil here, too. I don't know if you can really see the, the change in the water here, but it's a big this area full of treated sewage. Yeah. Look at all the fish. That was value, and there's a ton of fish down there. I can't believe how many fish are here. Why don't they have this in Boynton Beach? I can't believe our lures didn't go off yet. Wow. All right, we're gonna go. I, that's crazy. There was like pilchers, there was value, there was even blue runners, and then there was other fish down deeper that I didn't even see. Fill it up, there's a little yeah, bathroom and they hit it. Double hook up for bait. Double hook up on bait, guys. <laughs> yep. And we've got... Oh, one of them is a bony. We can try the bony too. It is. Look at that. Perfect. Perfect size. Bait. Nice. Let me see if I can get this guy to the boat. Come on. Perfect size little bony. Oh. Oh. <laughs> now we can't. Have a baby. All right. Let it go for a second, yeah, no problem. Oh, another one! Double header! Double header on the outrigger! That's all we need. Nice! Perfect! Here, let's get these other ones in first. Oh, that one! Nice fish! Yeah, that's a nice one! Oh, I see a oh, bunch of nice them! Nice oh, look at that! Oh! Nice! Alright! This is awesome, guys! Yeah, ready? This is awesome, guys! We are double hooked up on Mahi Mahi right now! We are trolling! <laughs> we are trolling on a spread! And, uh, well, basically, we're trolling on a weed line out here. So we're trying, Craig and I are working double hard trying to get these baits in. But we just double hooked up a nice mahi-mahi. We passed by a big structure, which was a piece of, uh, a piece of like a branch. And it was holding all these fish. I saw other dolphins underneath yours trying to hit the lure while he was hooked up. They hit the two small lures. They hit the ballyhoo and the small blunt nose. We'll measure them in a second. Look at this one. Get this the gap. Sorry, right, I'm gonna lay them out for so you. So cool when they jump like that. The nice oh, the gap is good. Oh my God. Let's pull them in. All right, I got him. That's all that matters. He's in the boat. Open up the box. Open up the box. All right, box time. Yeah. Ooh. Well, all yeah, right, there we it. go. Let's let Just like that. 
shellfish. Look at him. Handle your business. Look at him. That's only 40 pound test, remember. Okay. Oh my goodness. Never thought there would be a sailfish out here offshore on a weed line. Look at him. He's going crazy. Hopefully, guys, we can land this sailfish. We only got a 40 pound test. He may be able to get, oh wow. He may be able to, uh, you know, bite through the with his bill. He might be able to fray this leader we've got. So we're just going to take our time with him, but he is taking smoke and line out right now. We got to get. Uh, we got to start driving towards him so he doesn't smoke this reel. How much line you got? We got. Look at it. I don't know. You're. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Because I got our tracker on and our marks our spot mark. This is kind of crazy, guys. Like, even though I'm fishing 30 minutes south of where I normally fish, there's a lot of things happening today that's never happened before, such as catching a sailfish on a weed line. Like, we just trolled by a bucket and he hit. And I really thought it was a big dolphin. Craig thought it was a big dolphin or a wahoo or something. And uh, sure enough, it's a massive sailfish. Usually that's really rare catching them out here pretty deep. It's like 800 feet of water. But he hit one of our ballyhoo, naked ballyhoo, on a wire trace, I believe. So now we just, I'm gonna try to build this fish. He's starting to get tired. He's coming close to the boat. He's about 30 feet away right now. And I've been finding him the whole time. He did crazy jumps. I wish we could show you guys, but he's just too far away for the camera lens. Hey, this is how we do it on Real Dreams. Yes, it's how we do it. We've already broke up the Summertime, skunk. winter time, all the time. <laughs> Two mahi, you're gonna get the sailfish in. And it's only 3.30. Release them, and it's only 3.30. Maybe we should go to the sands and go swimming after this. Yeah, we gotta catch some more fish though. Yeah, of course. <laughs> oh, you got it? Take it. All right, here we go, guys. We're gonna try to build this beautiful sailfish. Come on, a little further, a little further. Woo! He just did a little kick there. He didn't like that. He doesn't want to be on YouTube. You don't want everyone to see you beautiful fishy. Come on. Come on, fishy. Come on. A little closer. Got him. Got him? Yep. Give him in the water. Buddy. All right. Come on, fishy. It's okay. I'm talking to him like he's talking to him like he's my dog. <laughs> Look at that fish. He's released, right? Yeah. He's free. Him up. Yep. All right. This fish is free. Gorgeous See lively you next fish. Next year. I'm gonna lift him up real quick for you guys, and then we're gonna release him. His tail down like that. All right. Nice. I'm gonna pick the hold on one too. Okay. Craig got that hook out like you guys saw, and now we're going to keep him straight in the water here. We got a quick picture with him as well. Get my hair out of the way. It's a good six foot fish. But this is a gorgeous fish. Yeah, he's definitely a full grown sailfish. They get a little bit bigger here in the Boynton area, but hey, I'll take it. It's a gorgeous sailfish. And it's August. And it's August, which is like... And 100 million degrees yeah. at 3.30 in the afternoon. We, we are time to catch him. So this is awesome, guys. Just gonna revive him here. We're slowly moving forward, keeping his mouth in the water and keeping him upright. Like I'm holding him like here. So that way he can recover nice and easy and then I'm gonna kick him off and let him swim away. Okay, the sailfish swam away after reviving him there for a little bit. Awesome, that's exactly what we wanted to do. So now we gotta get lines back in the water, start trolling and catch some more fish. Oh, he got it. Is that a fish? Oh, he got it. Yeah. Oh, double hookup. These dolphins are going nuts. They're jumping like 10 feet in the air. Crazy. Wow. Look more of a Kevin style, so they'll flip them around. There you go. That pulled too hard. Oh, wow. You're so beautiful. Let me get a nice picture with you. Oh. This is our perfect. I'm really happy. So this is our perfect, and we're catching a ton of fish right off the bat. Playing it today. behind the boat. Exactly. That's perfect, right there. Okay. Yeah, so you know when you had a good day when you're actually catching fish and you're getting battle scars and wounds like this. That is a dolphin holding it up and it falls and his teeth totally scrape the whole side of my knee. I'll take you my battle scars. Yes. Oh, 
shot on you. One more shot. I don't know. He might be, he might be 20. Hit the rattle jet. Nice job. We are wrapping up our day now. We're here back at the dock. Real Dreams, Team Real Dreams. We killed it today. Killed We're it. Super happy. We got a bunch of mahi, five mahi, and that's plenty enough for us. And then we got that epic sailfish, which is like really rare to do really rare to catch out in the deep water like that. So that was super, super cool. Never expected that. But uh, we had an epic day. Thank you so much to my friend Craig for inviting me out. And he's also a fan and follows me on Facebook. So guys, follow me there as well for pictures and whatnot. But thank you so much for watching. We appreciate you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment and a like down below. And until my next adventure, follow your dream and keep on catching.